Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach Jay Ortiz, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage as we shoot right here at Brady's Restaurant in downtown Hammond. Coach, your week started this week uh, on a midweek contest at home against Tulane. A huge crowd was on hand. The Pat, uh, a big inning kind of did you in in this one. Yeah, Tulane did a great job swinging the bat, scored six in one inning, and went on to win seven or two. Boy, tip your hat, they swung the bats very, very well. But what a great crowd at the Pat, around 2,000 people at the Pat. And, a lively bunch for sure. Well, Coach, that's one thing I think you've got to be proud of is how, how well your home crowd has been this year. It's really been electrifying out of alumni field. It has. You know, we're averaging well over 1,000 people a game, and that's it's unbelievable, you know, because where it was just a few years ago to now, the crowd's been energetic as well. They really get into the ball game, and, that, and that's why we're 14-2 and two at home. Well, the Lions were right back at it on Wednesday night against Alcorn State. Let's go out to the Pat and check out the highlights. Here we go. Wednesday night at the Pat, and it's Holy Ghost night. Boy, I tell you, that choir sings an Asher anthem for us, and the Holy Ghost Choir is outstanding. Alexis Terrio, Student of the Year at Holy Ghost and the Regional Student of the Year for our diocese. Fantastic young lady there, Alexis Terrio, throwing out the first pitch. And the first pitch for the Lions, thrown out by Buck Bernard, and Buck did a great job throwing that fastball on both sides of the plays. You can see the movement, late movement. Getting a swing and a miss, great job of Buck. Buck threw really, really well for us. And that's what you'll see on Wednesday night before weekend. You want to see that starter going deep in that ball game, saving that bullpen, and Buck did just that. You can see that breaking ball to late life. Cody Geiger getting the lines going with that hard hit through that four hole. As Cody rumbles and stumbles his way over to first base. Good job of Cody been swinging the bat very well. Ash Slade gets that bunt down, puts a little pressure on him, forces him to make a play, throw it away. Here come the Rhines running around the base, drawing first blood. Coach Rise is doing a good job holding up Cody right there at third base. Brett Hoffman hitting that big hop to the shortstop. Good productive out. Great job by Brett running third, less one out, infield back, hits the ground ball to the middle, doesn't try to do too much. Gets us to run and scores Goggle. Straight steal home. You see Harry Slate was a little late right there. Got to do a bit, do a better job, be more aggressive there. I thought he was a little timid getting around there, but thrown out. The hitter should have done swung the back, kept that catcher back. But you know, we just didn't make that play and come right back at it. Ryan down and swinging and missing, ball in the dirt, but gets the first base. Runners at the corners now. You see Coach Riser giving instructions. And Brett Hoffman coming through once again. Driving that ball deep, right field line, Ryan Downing coming in to score. Good job of Hoff getting that two out double. That was a big knock for us, real big knock for us. Get us out front on that pitch, but the shortstop throws it away. Good aggressive base running at third base. Coach Roger very heads up, sending Hoff in there, scored on the play. Cody Geiger hitting that hard through the middle. Good job hitting that ball hard through the middle, scoring Brock Bear. Hit a lot of balls hard on the ground. That was the difference tonight. You know, we hit a lot of balls hard on the ground, forcing them to make plays, put a lot of pressure on them. They didn't make them. Well, Harry crushed this ball deep left center field. Good job of hitting. Harry gets all the way to third base with his speed. Once he gets going, he can run a little bit. He gets to third base with the triple. Buck Bernard stayed in command. So he gets the big hop to Brock Hebert, who moved a little short. Nice play by Brock, 6-4 put out. Good job of Brock. Turned it over to a true freshman, Tanner Raining. Tanner was outstanding. Fastball was really live, 90-92 with that fastball. Gets a ground ball to first base, Jonathan Pace. Best defensive first baseman in the conference. Makes a tremendous play. Michael Poo Poo Rutland gets under that, hits a high five ball with that win. They misplay it with that win. Harry Slade comes in and scores. Good hustle by Michael Rutland as well. Harry Slade, one out, crushes his ball down that right field line. Scoring Jonathan Pace. Another runner coming in. One out, Harry should be hunting third base, but pulls up at second. Got to do a better job running the base there. Harry should have been at third with one out. But Enough scored and Lions win 12 to 3. Only seven hits, 12 runs. Great job base running. Really impressed with the guys way to run the bases. And Buck Bernard, 2 and 0 on the mound. Cody Gardner, three hits. Harry Slade, 2 for 2 with three ribbies. 
Well, Coach, your, your ball club rebounds with a 12 to three victory over Alcorn State. Really put some uh, some pressure on those guys and put some runs on the board. Well, the thing we did that night against Alcorn, you know, you look at the scoreboard, we only had seven hits, but we hit a lot of ground balls that got through. We hit a lot of ground balls that forced them to make some plays. Had some productive outs as well. As you saw Brett Hoffman hitting that ground ball in the middle with a run at third and less than two outs. So we did a good job manufacturing runs, and that's what you want to see. Guys really played fast. Well, the Lions will be on the road as they would go over to Beaumont, Texas, take on the Lamar Cardinals. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll check out the highlights from the weekend right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach J.R.T.'s, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford Dealers and also Champagne Beverage.